Yes, the Pullman porters are really significant, I think, in especially in 20th century history, because on the one hand, the the job of the porter required a sort of docility, right? That sort of replicated who Uncle Tom was. You're a docility, a, uh, an eagerness to please, always with a smile, um, sort of waiting at the hand and feet of white people taking the train. But on the other hand, these were some of the few, again, mobile Black men in North America. So they were crossing borders, crossing states, crossing provinces. And in that movement, they were picking up jazz. They were um, finding sort of other economies that they could engage in, maybe not always illegal, um, not legal, I mean, that were bringing in other sorts of income. And they were literally transgressing geographic lines, um, imaginary lines, um, in terms of performance, they were going to clubs, they were bringing back music, they were also bringing back newspapers. So the African American press and the Black Canadian press that also existed at that time were circulating because of these porters. So you can kind of think about the porter as the perfect example of having to have a public persona, i.e. sort of an Uncle Tomism to exist in that job, but then outside of the job, really being the pillars of the community. You know, they wore a suit, they, they traveled North America, um, and they had respect for themselves. So, you know, I think it, they also point to how the, the, the public has been consuming sort of an Uncle Tom archetype for generations, not realizing that that mask is being worn out of necessity, not because the Black subject actually wants to smile and help you with your bags. Um, you know, I think it was a comedian in the state says that, you know, I think it was Chris Rock actually had a joke that says, you know, old Willie might drive you downtown, but old Willie hates your guts. OK, so he might be smiling, but behind that smile, he does not want to be doing that work. He's only doing it out of necessity. And I think the porters kind of point to that legacy of having to have that dual identity just to exist.